and welcome to another Xcode tutorial. Well, sorry because I have not made tutorials for about a month, maybe. And so this is the first one in a month. So to get started, I'm going to open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application and I'm going to call it Changing Colors because we're gonna make a project that changes colors randomly. And so it's gonna be flipped an iPhone and I'm just going to save it on my desktop. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to main that storyboard. The view is fairly simple. All you really need is a, a navigation bar and we're going to place it at the very top of the screen. And it's gonna be called changing colors. And I'm going to drag on a button right here. And it's going to say changing, change color. And to get, to get rid of that mess, we're going to go to the attributes inspector in this bar button item. And the title will be the same thing. Now if you look, it looks like that. So now let's go to, view, let's open the assistant editor and we are going to control click drag from here to here and it's going to be an action and I'm going to call it change color and connect. Now let's close the assistant editor and go to viewcontroller.swift and in here all we need to put is we're going to create a variable called num and we set it equal to arc for random underscore uniform 4 and now we are going to have an if statement that says if num is equal to so that basically chooses a number between 0 and 4 inclusive. So there are 0, 1, 2, and 3, and 4. So there are 5 possible choices. And here we're just going to put um, self dot view dot background color equals UI color dot, let's say brown color. And then we're going to say else if if num equals one, then we are going to say self dot view dot background color equals UI color dot blue color. Now we're going to copy this and paste it three times like that. This will be 2, this will be 3, and this will be 4. And I'm going to change this one from blue color to black. And then this one will be just some random one. I'm going to choose cyan. The last one will be dark gray. And now, if you run, actually we can't run. One more thing we have to do is add constraints. So we are just going to select the view when you see a black border around. Go to the triangle and say add missing constraints. And if we run, it will look like it's what it's supposed to look like. Not like weird. So if you wait, and then if it changed color, it changed the color, the background color to something different every time you tap. So the next step in, you don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it, is to make it change colors randomly by itself. I'm gonna quit 
the simulator and select change color. We are going to get rid of this and delete the bar the bar button item. Now we're going to go to view controller dot swift and get rid of the IB action and get rid of fender just to make it a function. And in view did load we're going to say underscore equals NS timer dot scheduled timer with time interval and it's going to be the target selector user info repeats that one. We're not going to select the top one so make sure you select this one. The time interval will be one, the target will be self, the selector will be selector parentheses <coughs> change color inside quotation marks then user info with no repeats is true just like that the underscore means you don't have to define a variable it just sets a timer for you but it doesn't actually set a real variable so you can't really stop this timer it's like an unstoppable timer now we can run again and this time it will change colors by itself just wait and if you wait every second it changes colors so this is the end of our tutorial for now i hope you i hope you enjoy it and i hope you watch our other videos bye bye